is up, bros and hoes? It's Ashley Object Midnight, and today I'm bringing you guys another gameplay commentary. I uploaded one the other day with no webcam or whatever. Uh, that was because it was more gameplay centered, but this is gonna be more like just discussion centered. But I still did want to bring you guys some gameplay in the background, so enjoy the Black Ops 3 free for all there. Uh, but the, the video actually has nothing to do with Black Ops 3. We're gonna be talking about the next Call of Duty. Now, I don't usually like to make videos about the next Call of Duty, especially this early, and especially when there's literally nothing to go off of. All we know is that it was announced that Infinity Ward is officially developing COD for 2016, so at the end of this year, and that was already implied. Like, we all already kind of knew that, so there's really no surprise there. They called the title innovative, uh, and, and I don't know, I guess that means everyone was freaking out when they said that it was innovative because they think that that means it's going to be something completely new, and it very well could be, but it also could be, you know, kind of like a, a continuation of one of their old titles. It could be like a remaster, we don't know. In this video, I don't wanna theorize and be like, it's gonna be called this. Like, I think that whatever it's called doesn't really matter. I mostly wanted to make this video because what of what I think. I think that, you know, I, I think that if they do it the right way, it could be a really good Call of Duty. And I'm just gonna list like some of those things that I think would make it a really good Call of Duty. Now, when this was announced, I had a lot of people tweeting me like, if it's called Ghost 2, there's no way I'm gonna buy it or there's no way it's gonna sell. Like, I don't think that's necessarily true. I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't think it'll be Ghost 2. I honestly don't. But if it is, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, Ghost did have a pretty bad reputation, especially towards the end of its life cycle. But if Video War is not stupid, they're not just sitting there like, oh, well, let's just create the next game. Like, they're probably sat there like, okay, we need to change this and that. And like, they've had a solid three year block where they're developing for like, I think, what would it technically be for major platforms? Like they made Ghost for like 70 platforms, it felt like. So I don't know, it'll be interesting if they do do that. But like I said, I don't think it matters what it's called, whether it's a modern game, even they could even do it in the future. But I think one thing for certain and I don't know, I, I just can't imagine them doing an advanced movement system. Like, I could see them maybe having the slide that they had in Ghosts. But I just can't see them doing anything with jetpacks. If they do, I really worry. <laughs> I really worry for them because they have to have some kind of, like, idea that that is not the direction they should go. I think what they need to do, and we've been seeing this as a Call of Duty community for a long time, is to keep it simple. If you just make good maps, which they typically do, Infinity Ward actually is known for really good maps, I feel like Warhawk from Ghost is one of the best maps in Call of Duty history. And I'm not just saying that because I'm like, just trying to suck up to Infinity Ward. Like, I really believe that firmly. So, and I mean, they just have a history of making good maps. So, as long as they make the maps good, the core gameplay, I mean, all we're going off of is their previous release, which is Ghost. If they just make the time to kill better, that smooth, like, engine and movement system that they had in Ghost will be great. If they just make it a little bit more competitive gunfight-wise, because Call of Duty Ghost is more like, whoever shoots who first usually wins the gunfight unless the person's terrible, and it just led to slower gameplay, which I think was a huge problem with it. So, you need to keep it simple. Like I said, I don't think it really matters what time period it is. It could be in the way past, the way future, the current. I don't think that matters as long as it's boots on the ground and no totally crazy movement. I do like the movement in Black Ops 3, but do I think every single Call of Duty from here on out should be this kind of vertical movement? I mean, I get why it's, it's creative and I get the appeal of the gameplay. It makes it faster. But I think if Infinity War does do that, I think it's gonna be problems. I don't know. I honestly have no idea what they're doing. So, now obviously that's like the biggest like glaring thing to me when I think of the next Call of Duty is it just needs to be simplified. Like they can still have all their camos or outfits or supply drop, whatever. I think another thing that would hugely benefit the next Call of Duty if they do go the supply drop, like outfit, gun, camo route thing, if they do do that, there should, I think at this point, there could be a marketplace within Call of Duty where you could buy with in-game currency and trade items with people. I think that that is the next step based on what Advanced Warfare did, based on what Black Ops 3 is doing right now. An in-game marketplace would be phenomenal, I think. I think if it was done correctly, it would be really good. So I could definitely see them doing something like that. But the gameplay itself just needs to be simple, man. Like good guns, you know, smooth engine, kind of like, like Ghost was a really smooth game. That's one of the things I really love about it. So if they just take that and, and build upon that and keep the map simple, don't make people jump around, keep the score streaks or kill streaks, whatever, support streaks, whatever they do, keep them simple. You don't have, like, I feel like every COD developer lately has felt like they need to just 
do something so different, but really if they just make the core of their game good, they could get away with adding whatever camo, boots, knee pad, whatever they want. Like, I feel like as long as the core of the gameplay is good, uh, I think it's gonna be good. So I know this wasn't really like specific things I'd like to see in COD, but I feel like if Infinity War doesn't do those things, it's gonna be not that good. I'm not sure, I have no idea. And keep in mind, I'm not a developer. I don't have any idea. I'm just the person that plays Call of Duty and likes it. I have no idea the logistics of how they do these things and how they come to these decisions of what goes in the game and what doesn't. But I just feel like Infinity Ward has a very, very good opportunity in front of them, even though their last release was considered one of their worst, like in terms of popularity in their past games. I feel like if they do it correctly, they could really uh, change the minds. And I, I think it's going to be a good game no matter what, because it's it's been in development for three years and they have the, there's no way that they haven't you know kind of learned from the past so that's what i think about it let me know what is one thing you need to see in the next call of duty in your opinion what would you want to put in it i basically said keep it simple marketplace those are the two huge things i'd like to see in the next cod good maps obviously good guns i mean those are all really obvious but let me know down in the comment section what you would like to see thank you so much for watching leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys next time peace